Well, we're just about ready to go here in uh, what should be an intriguing game in conditions which may prove testing. There are plenty of talking points around this game, but not the least of them is the snow that we have had. There were concerns that it could cause the match to be called off. I'm glad to report that hasn't been the case. The pitch has been well cleared, but the conditions will certainly add an extra dimension to the competition. Really, this really is a quite wonderful stadium located here at the foot of the Alps. The national anthem of Argentina rings out. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So it's away we go then. Chief, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Sadio Mane. He's one of the paciest players around, Peter. He's a, a very dangerous dribbler and a fine finisher to boot. I particularly like the way he gives defenders a headache by drifting across the forward line, looking for gaps to, to probe and, and spaces to get into. I think he's going to be a really huge asset for this team. He's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Over to the left. A really good feat. And it's Mane. Chance to break. Now it's Messi. Martinez. Now it goes for goal! goal! What a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on. This could be rather exciting. He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a hoop-links first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Senegal didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Otamendi. Argentina making the ideal start. It is something to build on. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Martinez. It was on the back, and Messi! It's broken loose. 
loose. He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Paredes is short. And here's Dybala. Forward it goes. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Lo Celso plays it forward. Messi, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Martinez. Taliafico. Dybala. Taliafico. He's got options out wide. Dybala. Lo Celso has a pass! Dybala. Perez. Paredes. Lo Celso. He's making good use of his strength there. Just got a shot away. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level. It's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Paredes. And it's Dybala. How about a shot? And the shot! And yes, it's there! And there's the goal they've been looking for. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know, Peter, from the moment it left his foot, it looked unstoppable. That was thumped. Argentina take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Looking to break out here. Nice touch. 
great strength, too strong for his opponent. Has gone out. Messi. Dybala. And here's Dybala. Lo Celso. Martinez hits it! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. See the three from the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do them from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Argentina in control at half time, 2 0. The game has already resumed here. It is quite a run he's making here. Paredes gets his foot in there. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Across the field it goes. Hoist it forward. Oh, that's neat. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Lo Celso, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Cuts it out. Paredes. Messi is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's played forward. And it's Mane. His big chance! And he's there to hoof it away. And that's a throw. Perez. Otamendi. Taliafico hoists it forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. It's gone for a throw in. Time to deliver. Out to the left it goes. Martinez. Made into space out wide. Gets the better of his man. Dybala. Perfect place.
Griezmann, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Argentina take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Just brushed off the ball there. Messi. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Get it forward quickly. And it's Mane. Ahead by three, but they won't want to take their foot off the pedal. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Just five minutes left. Talia Fico, Dybala, Lo Celso, he's pinged one through here. Oh, he's supposed to get himself offside. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Hoist it forward. Paredes gets it back. And there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Argentina won thanks to a, a disciplined game plan. Homework 